Hello, some axed when it was returning it, it is now here. My name is Albert Gurry and welcome to another installment long awaited of Slam and Snapses. Um, if you've seen my Facebook page, Catch the Pinfalls recently, you may have seen that I had a picture of figures. Now what that's about is simple. Um, there's a statement that goes, they like them so much, they broke the mold. If you if you ever look back at old time WCW, better yet NWA back in Jim Crockett time frame, you saw there were many different characters. There were uh, the personal mode of Magnum TA. There was a Dusty Rhodes mode. There was a Road Warriors mode. There was a Freebirds mode. Matter of fact, everyone had their own unique mode to them. Everyone was different from each other in and of their own right, so that you couldn't really distinguish the two is that you could distinguish the two if you saw them side by side in terms of character, in terms of looks, in terms of overall. Um, if you remember looking at the figures that I put up, every one of those is a single, is a different mode, a different look, some slight variation, but all a little bit different and all a little bit unique. Problem is, in WWE right now, they have this ongoing thing of trying to fit somebody in a particular mode. If you'll notice, if someone's like all of a sudden becoming a heel, they'll start acting one particular way. If they go from heel to a face, they start acting one particular way. If you, this goes back a while. This isn't just a, this isn't just a John Cena or whatever way. This goes back, I believe, to like Hulk Hogan. Because if you look at when Warrior won the title, he all of a sudden cared about the title, whereas before he didn't. And he started doing these things where he was talking about the kids and talking about Amanda Ultimate Warrior, which still grates on my nerves to this day whenever I see that segment. But basically, you look at their history and they try to fit someone in that mode that fits instead of trying to make them unique. I mean, you look at, like, Lex Luger, he turned face, and all of a sudden he was doing the Lex Express, driving the bus, waving the flag of old glory. You look at you look at people like Rocky Maivia, they try to put him in a certain mode, but he broke away from that by being unique, by being a little bit different than the rest. And he went on to become a star. But then you start getting into current time where you have, like, John Cena, where... He has no problem. He has no problem being in the mode that he is, as long as he has a job. And now you look at Roman Reigns, and they try to fit him in the in the John Cena mode. It's as if it's as if they get to a point where, like Vince McMahon is running the machine, and damned, if you don't fit that one mode, he's going to try to fit you in that mode, whether you want to, whether you like it, whether it fits you or not. And that's what, that's, that, it's like there's no real uniqueness to anybody. Because everyone's the same. It's like, you look at, look at Brock Lesnar once they found out he was going to be there a bit longer. They start changing his mode a little bit. But it's always good when you have so many different characters, so many different modes, so many different styles, so many different attitudes to work with, instead of one size fits all. Because in wrestling, one size does not fit all. And those that try to make it fit all winds up having the, their product just diluted to where people really don't care and people are going to be like, so what's going to happen next? And then they think about it, it's like, you know, I really don't care what happens next. Because I just want to see something different. I want to be fed a different food. I'm tired of having water 24-7. I'm tired of having bread 24-7. Instead of bread, I want meat. Instead of meat, I want fish. Instead of fish, I want hummus. So, I like to see them get back to a point to where they like something so much, they break the mode and create a different mode and create a lot of other different modes for a lot of different characters, for a lot of different experiences. Instead of one size fits all, one mode fits all. If you want to drop me a comment feel free to do so and i know i'll probably rambled on a bit here but drop me a comment in the box below somewhere or if you're viewing this on facebook drop me a comment in the comment section let me know what you think so 
For Albert Gurria, this is Slam and Synapsis, saying so long from ringside. Have a good day.